What's up guys, Dustin McDangles back here with another video. This is the NHL Alumni Super Series guys here on the channel. This is episode number four with the Peterborough Peets as you guys can see. Um, but before we get into any of it here, guys, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future action. So we're going to obviously see how far the team goes in today's episode as this is the last juniors team we will be playing with or sort of simming with here in these NHL sort of seasons. So let's go ahead, hop into it, take a look at these lines and see what we're working with. So as you guys can see here, we've got the lines right here. We got Steve Larmer, Wayne Gretzky and Steve Eiserman. So a crazy stacked first line. Obviously, we could pr probably put Bob Ganey up there with Gretzky and Iserman, which I actually think we're probably going to do. So we'll do Bob Ganey, Wayne Gretzky, and Steve Iserman. That is an absolutely legendary first line. Going down to the second, we've got Danny Grant, Eric Stahl, and Steve Larmer. Third line, we've got Zach Cassian, Jordan Stahl, and Jamie Langenbrunner. And then here on the fourth line, we've got Ty Domi, Steve Lorenz, and then we've got Nicholas Robertson. Uh, going to the defense here, guys, we've got a stacked top pair with Chris Pronger and Larry Murphy. Second pair, we've got Bob Murray and Zach Bogosian. Bottom pair, we actually had to pick up one of the actual players for their team, which is Declan Chisholm. And then we've actually got a, def or a forward here in Austin Watson playing some defense here, guys. So that is how it sort of stacks right now. Um, and then the goaltenders, we've got Greg Millen and John Garrett between the pipes here this year. So pretty small goaltender is going to definitely be interesting to see how this sims out. But let's go ahead. We'll check out how the team's doing at the uh, at the trade deadline. But actually, let's first take a look here at these unis um, that we sort of put together for the squad. Take a look here really quickly at the jerseys we put together. Obviously, a ways looking pretty nice here with the maroon with the P on the front. Uh, home jerseys going in sort of the dark maroon there and then the alternates we've got sort of like a, a baby not really a baby white but uh, a type of sort of cream color there with the maroon looks pretty nice there especially with Gretzky uh, but we'll go ahead check out the sim here and we'll see if we can make it to the trade deadline in a good position. So here we are guys at the trade deadline. There were actually a few lineup changes I had to make because there were players that were actually on waivers that we had to take care of. So I'll show you guys that in just a second. But leading the way in the standings here, the Peterborough Peets in first place in the Atlantic Division by two points over the Tampa Bay Lightning. And taking a look at it, it's actually a race for the President's Trophy as the Golden Knights actually lead the way with 86 points or just barely behind them there in points. Wayne Gretzky leading the way in points for the team. 69 points in 62 games played. Uh, Steve Eiserman just behind him with 59 points. Bob Ganey. There we go. Larmer, Murray, Grant, Stahl, Pronger, Langenbrunner sort of rounding out that sort of top of the table. Taking a look here at the goaltenders. Been pretty solid honestly. Uh, 26 14 and 3 with a 9 1 2 and a 2 6 0 goals against. And then John Garrett there with a 12 5 and 3 record, 9 2 3 with a 2 4 1 goals against average. So pretty good stuff right there. If you actually take a look here at the team, let's take a look at the top point getters in the entire league. And Gretzky is nowhere even in the top of the board there for points. He's actually way down there. Um, if I can actually find him here really quickly, um, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time trying to find Gretzky. Oh, wow. He's in second place there for points. I thought he was a little bit further down. So just behind McDavid there for top points in the league. So crazy to see that. Uh, but then let's go ahead and take a look here at the lineups. There's the one player sort of messed things up here as since he was on waivers, I didn't realize it till sort of about... It was about December, and that was actually our boy um, Slater here. Uh, he was actually on waivers. He did play about 156-some-odd games for the Peterborough Pete, so we had to get him into the lineup, and sliding him in there actually gets the plus one there on that sort of third pairing there with Chisel. Um, so that is good there. So then we sort of went ahead and moved Watson there to the wing, taking out 
um, Lorenz there because he wasn't having really having a great year at all. Uh, so we threw in Watson, who's already doing a little bit better than him. Rob, uh, Rob, Robertson doing pretty well, and then again Eric Stahl, not 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 quite what I thought he'd be doing, but nonetheless the team is playing pretty well. So we'll go ahead and we'll check you guys, we'll check in with you guys as soon as the playoff starts. So there you have it guys, the simulation has actually come to an end. The team sort of fell apart there in that last month of the year. We snuck down there in the playoffs, just in the fourth position there, 97 points, just finishing below the Toronto Maple Leafs, as it looks like the Sabres won the division, and it looks like they also won the President's Trophy with 51 wins there, so crazy stuff. Let's go ahead here, simulate up to the playoffs. Gretzky there finished with 89 points on the year and it actually looks like we've got the Washington Capitals here in this first round of the playoffs. So again, take a look here at team points. Gretzky with 89, uh, Iserman with 80, and I do want to see how they stacked up against the rest of the league. I don't think that's going to be too high up there. Um, and it looks like Gretzky slowed down a bit there, just missing out on top point getter Looks like he might have won the Maurice Richard Trophy, at least. Um, if we can sort by goals, Gretzky won the Maurice Richard Trophy. So that's, that's going to be some cool silverware to bring home. But obviously, we want to bring home that Stanley Cup. So here we go, guys. We're actually away from home, it looks like, here against the Capitals as we will get into the simulation of this first series. Up 1-0, Bogosian on Lundqvist. Tie game after 1, Kuznetsov on Millen. After the 3rd... Wow, Stefan with the goal, or, or however the heck you say his name, wins game one, and the Peets are up 1-0 here in this series against the Capitals. Slater, forgot his name, Slater with the goal there to win that game. So we're getting into it here. Game number two against these Capitals. They're up 2-0 after the first. OV and Backstrom on the goals. Uh, they're up 4-1 now because Nets off in Verona, so their top players playing big as OV caps another one there in the third period as they take game number two. Tying the series there at one. As you can actually see the playoff picture here below. Sabres, Bruins, Lightning Leafs, Flyers, Rangers. And then in the west we've got the Golden Knights, Stars, Coyotes, um, and the Canucks. Uh, we've got the Avalanche, Blues, and then the Blackhawks and Jets. So that's sort of how the playoff stacks up. Bob Ganey leading the way in points here at these playoffs. Um, and it's big game three, not gonna lie, huge game three here at home, we're down 2-1, Ovi and Eller, uh, Lingabretter on the goal here for the Peets, nothing after the second period, third goes by, and Grant and Eller actually get the goals, but we end up losing game number three, three to two, so we're down two to one here in this series, um, looks like Gretzky and Iserman not really doing anything for us here these playoffs so that is quite interesting I haven't really seen them on the board for goals at all Ganey and Watson on the goals nothing in the second and then a big third period as Gretzky heard us speaking he puts two in the net and we actually win game number four five nothing so we've got a best of three series here now uh, two games apiece it looks like the Golden Knights swept their series and all the Eastern Conference series are still going on as well. So here in game number five, away from home, Capital One Arena. First period, nothing doing there. Second period, Haglin and Broussard on the goals. Third period goes by. Murray with the goal, but not enough there to get us back into that game. So we lose 2-1 to one there in game number five. Going back home against the Caps here in a ride or die game number six. We lose, we're out of the playoffs. If we win, we send it to game seven. First period, Sim, Wilson on the goal. Second period, Sim, Kuznetsov on the goal. And third period, Haglin buries the Pete, sending us out of these playoffs and looks like out of the all of our sort of junior teams, it looks like the Kitchener Rangers are the only one to bring home the Stanley Cup. So we'll go ahead and simulate up here to the end of the season and then we'll check out out sort of who won the Stanley Cup and then we'll check the awards as well but honestly top line didn't really do much there those playoffs as it looks like the Chicago Blackhawks are your Stanley Cup champions that is crazy to see um, as we'll take a look here at how they won it uh, Blackhawks over the Philadelphia Flyers what a weird playoffs that was so a little flashback there to 2012 
Um, Flyers beat the Lightning, uh, and the Blackhawks beat the Canucks there in the conference finals. Crazy stuff, and it's actually the Capitals got blown out by the Flyers there in their series. Um, again, we already saw the stats. Let's take a look at the awards. Individual awards, Ovechkin wins the Art Ross and the Hart Trophy. Carlson won the Norris. Gretzky won the Lady Bing, uh, which is awesome to see. Lafreniere won the Calder. Patrick Kane on the Conn Smythe. Vasilevsky on the Vesna and William Jennings Trophy. Matt Roy for the Masterson. Uh, the Blackhawks won the Jack Adams. Barkoff won the Selkie. Ovi with the Ted Lindsay and Gretzky with the Maurice Richard trophy, guys. So that's going to be it here for this side of the bracket for the Alumni Super Series. The junior teams are done and dusted. Next up on our board are going to be some college hockey teams. So we're going to get into some alumni college hockey teams in the next four episodes. And then we're going to get into our, our actual Super Series after those. But that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on this video. I hope you guys have a good one. And as always, stay dusted.